hello everyone this is asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial today i'll show you the editing process that is the red and orange combination of a photography so our previous image was like that but uh, i got this image like this so here i have done like i used a preset which was like this and and then i used a enhancement of the eye color then the lights and the another lights and then the nick collection and finally i got the output so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so here from the file and open up and here my stock image i downloaded this one from the website and i'll give you that download link in my video description so at first to the filter and photo toolbox and skin finder here in a face some spot appears that's why i use this one so i'll smooth this one like a little bit like this yeah that's fine and the skin tone as well so saturation brightness and the contrast as well the shadow and everything so highlight and hit ok so it will be like uh, amazing so before one and after one you are getting like that and after that i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j and j so one is for the highlight and another one is for shadow so i'll use the shadow and highlighting for the prominent face the shadow lights actually so from the highlight layer just select this one and go to the blending mode make it screen and right press and blending options from here the underlining layer here the underlining layer find out the highlighted area of the face press the alter button and divide the slider and adjust the light with the face yeah that's good and hit ok after that mask this one here is the mask option and from here go to the image and apply image and hit ok so light option done now the shadow options for that go to the blending mode and make it multiply after that right press and blending options now i will find out the shadow area of the face here is the shadow panel so adjust this one press the alter button the slider will divide and adjust it with the face yeah that's fine and hit ok and same process from here mask it and image apply image but in this case make it invert and hit ok so we got two layers and one is the shadow and another one is highlight so i'll select these two layers make it group make it mask after masking this go to the image and apply image so in this case uncheck the invert option and hit ok let's see the before and after one so that's good and now i'll these two layers and make it group and make it match so before one and after one we got this one and now I'll apply the preset from the camera filter go to the filter and the camera filter and camera filter is a plugins of the Photoshop for the express photo editing if you want to get the camera filter in your Photoshop you have to install it manually those who are using the CS version and creative cloud version they are getting this one by default so this one is the advantage of using the creative cloud version so from here the settings that means the little bit the small menu and load settings options and here I made a preset that is the orange HQ and hit open so you are getting this one that is the brown and orange mixture here is all the things and assumption to make it as your own so here the assumption white if you need you can add some shadow or highlight as you wish and highlight if you want to make it up or down it's totally up to you if you need you can change those color the red orange yellow green aqua blue and luminance as well and camera calibration here is everything and hit ok you can add or edit that things so after that you are getting the output like that so before one and after one you are getting so now time for increase the eye color so what to do so take a new blank layer and make it white go to the brush tool 
and take a brush first one brush and make the brush size according to the cornea and make sure that the opacity and flow is 100% and then select once here and once here go to the blending mode and make it overlay the eye color will be increased then select these two layers make it group and make it merge now I'll add the lights like that so take a new blank layer I'll go to the brush tool and make sure that the opacity and flow is 100% and color is white and select once and press ctrl T and make it bigger so I'll give the light a little bit over here so like that and hit ok and then adjust the light yeah that's fine and now another layer and go to the color palette and here from here I'll take a blue color so blue like that and go to the brush tool again and select once and make it bigger like that so add little bit and hit ok and then blending mode to soft light yeah that's fine so light this one and this one so two lights added and I'll select three of layers and make it match and now I'll go to the filter and make collection and color effects pro 4 Nick collection color effects pro 4 color effects pro 4 it belongs to the Nick collection and uh, if you want to get the download link please check out my video description so from here I'm using the cross processing and here are lots of methods and C04 I'll use that and here is the strength options if you need you can increase or decrease this one if you increase this one it will be like that or decrease like that so I'll make it 30 around 30 pixel that's the fine and shadow and highlighting options you can make that and opacity here up and down I'll make it 100% so hit the OK button it will take time to load it up and give you the final output so yeah this is done now but before one ordinary image and after one you're getting the amazing look of your photography so if you want to get the PC download link, the plugins download link and other stuff, stock photo download link, please check on video description. And if you want to make your photography more amazing like that, you can follow this step by step. So I think you learn a lot from this video. If you did, please thumbs up and share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching my video tutorial. If you have any kind of question, query or request, please do comment on my video comment section. And until the next video, I am ASMRF signing out today. Bye bye.